Hey, this is Jedi Steve. Um, in addition to doing a lot of things, I also am a Lyft driver. And recently, yesterday, for whenever you're watching this, it was yesterday, um, I gave a ride to this lady who had gotten in an accident. She was on the phone the whole time, but she had gotten in an accident. And I drive her across town. And I picked her up at this collision center and then I drove her across town. And the place where I stopped her was another, the exact same uh, brand of collision center. And she goes, I wasn't supposed to go to this collision center, I was supposed to go to the Enterprise. And then we go to the Enterprises that's just around the street, but for some reason, Lyft told me to drop her off at, at, um, at the collision center. And she goes, when we get to the Enterprise, which is a car rental place, she says, I'm so stupid. I should have taken my car to the one that was, was 200 yards away. So she could have just walked, saved time, didn't have to worry about paying, paying, paying for a lift. And I said to her, I was like, a stupid isn't necessarily the right thing in that situation. So we get in accidents. They say there are no accidents and what I believe they mean by there are no accidents is certain things happen for a reason because we have certain pat patterns. Maybe that accident was telling her she's rushing too much. It's time to slow things down because sometimes when we slow things down, we actually move forward a lot more when we slow things down and observe our patterns and we shift our patterns. and. It's all, if, if, if you're pushing hard to, to move forward and, and get things accomplished, you want, you're talking about progress. So sometimes when we get in these accidents, say she was probably saving five minutes a day by speeding, but now all of a sudden her car's in the shop and she's, she's missing those, those two days of, of having her car, she's spending more, her insurance is going up, all that stuff is time, time, time. It's all cut up. But if we slow things down, we can get the message. Then it dawned on me after I dropped her off, by the collision center that I picked her up, there was also an enterprise that was right there. So there was two separate parts of town that there was a collision center and an enterprise. Two separate parts of town. And she chose to go to the collision center that was way on the side of town and the enterprise on the other side of the town when she could have chose either side of the town. And I don't know where she lives, I don't know where she works, I don't know where she was coming from, but I could say that with a high probability that the accident that was created was because of, of her not slowing down and paying attention to, to certain things and looking and observing the world around her. her. And we all, we all do this in certain ways. And the goal isn't to stop this, the goal is to slow down and get better at this. Like one of the four agreements is always do your best. And maybe she is doing her best, but is she doing her best potential wise? Well, none of us are doing our best potential wise, but how far are we off the mark? So, don't look as, at your lessons and mistakes as you being stupid because there's a lot of judgment on there. And a lot of times we might, we don't, might not want to be stupid. So we don't, we say, we just like or justify all the stupid shit that we're doing. And trust me, if you watch my channel, I do a lot of shit. Most of it is totally purposeful. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to connect, connecting with you soon. Peace.